Okay, this video is about the center of a group. The the center of a group G is the subgroup consisting of those elements that commute with every other element. Okay? So, the center of a group G is the subgroup consisting of those elements that commute with every other element. So I'm going to write now, usually the notation is Z, Z for Zentrum, as in the German word, okay? So the center of G um, is the set where X in G such that XG equals GX for all G in G, for all element G in the group G. Okay, so the center of G is the set where X belongs to G. Okay, so if we have a group G here and we have an element X, okay, X is in G for all G in G, so okay, so every element in G, G0, G1, all the elements in G, um, any element you pick here, X times, times of operation, X times G equals G times X, okay? So I would say um, uh, this set is the um, set um, of all elements um, that commute in G. Okay, since we already spoke in G, G group, we already spoke about this um, commutation. Okay, and um, I can also say that the, the center, so this, this is the center, the center is the set of all things, the center is the set of all things that have no conjugate other uh, than themselves. If you don't know what the conjugate is, please go back to one of my previous uh, videos. Okay? So Z of G, the center of the center of the group. This is the center of the group G x in g such that x times g equals g times x for all g uh, for all g all element g in g so now i'm going to give a couple of examples quick examples of course the first example could be oh um i have to say this the center of any abelian group, the 
the center of any abelian group is the entire group. Okay, so don't count on groups like Zn. Okay, Z, Z4, Z5, all this, um, for instance, for Z5, under addition, of course, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, you see, all this, uh, this, this group is, is, is a billion, you see, so the center is the entire group, because uh, just pick any element like this one and this one. 1 plus 2 will always be equals 2 plus 1, you see. And 4 plus 1, 1 plus 4 equals, this is mod modulus 5, right, so equals 0. And 4 plus 1, it's 0 too, so uh, the center of Z5 is Z5. Uh, the roots of unity, like the, the U4, the, the famous um, the klein fier group, the, the, this root of unity is also uh, 1 minus 1, I minus I. This is also a, uh, under addition, uh, of course, under addition, is a, a commutative group and so the center is the entire group okay uh, oh um, let us try a group we already worked on the G if G is the D4 okay what is the um, the center of G4 the center of G4 the center, Z, the center, is the identity and rho squared. Okay, so I'm going to pick one table, one of those tables that we made one of, in one of the previous videos, um, for D4. Here you are. So rho 0, rho 1, rotation 0, the identity, so this is the identity, right, the identity, or E. And so rotation one, rotation two, rotation three, mirror one, mirror two, and diagonal one, diagonal two. Okay. And so if you look for the D4 table, um, let me give you an example. R3 times R1 or row 3 times row 1, you get row 0, right? But row 1 times um, oh, let me pick another example here Let's turn mirror 1 Like row, uh, row 3 times mirror 1, row 3 times mirror 1, you get delta 2, right? Row 3 times mirror 1, you get delta 2. But mirror 1, mirror 1 times row 3, you get delta 1. You see? So, uh, I'm going to write here. So, row 3 times mirror 1, mirror 1, you get delta 2, you see, but mirror 1, row 3, so mirror 1, uh, mu 1, row 3, you get delta 1, okay, so they are different, you see, so you can see that this um, row 3 and mirror 1, they can't be both, both they can't be at the center, right? Because you have elements, you have elements in the group that do not commute with these ones. Okay. Uh, so what is the center? The center is the identity. The identity is the center. 
because row 1 times row 0 is row 1 and uh, row 1 times row 0 is row 1 so you see the, the column and the line here and if you look well for the identity the column and the line is the same okay the same for row 2 okay if you look well this column and this line is the same this equals this one this equals this one this one is in the middle this equals this one this equals this one you see so for instance r3 row 3 times row 2 you get row 1 row 3 times row 2 you get row 1 okay and row 2 times row 3 you also get row 1 you see so uh, this element of the set uh, commits to any other uh, element in the set okay so uh, back where we were we say okay so the center the center of D4 is the identity and row 2. Okay, I wrote here row 2 in a different notation, but I think it's okay for you. Um, let me give you just one more example. Like the. Maybe I can give you the example of the, uh, the quaternions. Okay, example 3, right? Quaternions. If G is the quaternions, I'm not going to explain what this is now the center of the quaternions will be uh, 1 and minus 1. I'll do, I'll do one video only for that. Okay? And that is the... Um, sorry, the page is here. So, that is the center of the group. And since I'm aiming at the class equation of a group, I just need to, to introduce a couple of more concepts and then I'll get into the, the class equation of a group.